Okay, uh, welcome back to Rails Minute. Hi everyone, I'm Dan Bostrom, Rails Member Engagement Manager, and I'm here with Deirdre Brennan, Rails Executive Director. Uh, again, Rails Minutes are just our effort to bring you short weekly videos where you can find out more about what is happening with Rails. Uh, Deirdre, thanks for joining me. Uh, we're getting closer to the 4th of July, so yes. I want you to answer the, the big question is, parades or fireworks? Does it have to be either or? I love no, it's, them both. Certainly both. <laughs> Fourth of July is my favorite holiday. And I guess if I really did have to pick, I would pick parades. Okay. So, yeah, so there's nothing like a small town, you know, parade. You, you sit on the sidewalk with your neighbors and, you know, watch the bands and the various politicians and club presidents go by, you know, in their fancy not really convertibles it's just wonderful but i do love fireworks you know i'm from boston and we always had that incredible uh fourth of july concert on the esplanade you know it was boston pops and all that so yeah i i hate to have to pick but you made me so. sorry to make you yeah <laughs> okay so uh our it team is getting closer and closer to the launch of library learning or l2 as we call it um, what should people know about what is happening in a, with that work right now? Hopefully they know a lot, uh, but probably not as much as we would wish people to. Uh, I think just generally and historically, L2 has been something that people have not paid a lot of attention to. It's, it's, but it's very important. It's, very, it's like a bedrock. It's a foundation of so much that we do our event calendar, it's our library directory, it's our li library staff directory. It's a, you know, it's, um, it's, it's just, it's a, it's a communication tool that is critical, for example, in, in reaching out about delivery issues, just, just as one example, and, you know, particularly in bad weather. Um, I do remember, and I, I, I confess that when I was, before I was at Rails, when I was the director in Oak Park, I don't think I ever once went into my L2 account to update it, or I, I, I didn't even, I didn't know that I had to. Once I got to Rails, I became very aware of the extreme importance of L2. So I would say to everyone, you please, you must go into your L2 account and make sure that it's updated because it, uh, we are um, expecting to launch in August. Uh, I, I don't remember the exact date. I'm going to look at my crib sheet here and see if I, it just says mid-August. And um, this project has been going on for a couple of years anyway now. As you said, IT and our, our consultant we're working with and all of our partners, Heartland, the State Library, ILA, uh, we've been working very closely on this. It's going to be a huge improvement. Um, it's going to be a lot easier to use. Your, your email address is going to be your username. Uh, your account is not going to migrate unless you have an address, though. So you must go in and make sure it's up to date. Um, as an example, when we did our uh, trustee uh, webinar a couple of weeks ago, um, we got so many new registrations in L2 from trustees because of that. I think I read that like more than half of the of the attendees, so you know, more than half of 700 were, had never been on L2 before. So please go into L2 and update your account, and go to our website and find out how to do that, etc. So yeah, that's amazing, and and it's it's exciting that that. Um, um, that work is coming uh, is coming to a conclusion uh, very soon. Yes, so we're, we're excited about that. Uh, okay, so what else is happening around Rails? Uh, what would you like people to know? Well, I want to remind people again that the the census is uh, not done. I think that uh, people may think, understandably, that the census is over because under normal circumstances it would have been over by now or almost anyway, but it's been extended through October. We got more grant money to do, to continue to do work uh, through October, at least. And uh, we need uh, libraries and other agencies to work with us. And I know that libraries are really 
kind of swamped right now and just, you know, have so much on their plates. But this is so important. This is, I mean, this is about the future. And I, you know, we have to, as hard as it is, sometimes we must look beyond the, you know, how crazy the, the, the day that we're in is and think about the importance of getting a complete count so that we, you know, we get the political representation and the funding that we should get. Yeah. And I, I saw recently that we were tied uh, as a state for seventh place in terms of self-response rate, which is great. But um, obviously, we we also we want to be number one too. Right. So uh, so right. the more, more we can get people uh, um, uh, to do that, the, the better. We want everybody tied for number one at one hundred percent. That's what we want. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Okay, so this is usually the point where we turn to member questions. And if you do have a question, you can either leave a comment below um, or you can email them to communications at railslibraries.info. Uh, we don't have any questions, uh, but uh, I have a question for you. Um, two weeks ago at the Rails member update, we had a presentation from uh, Miguel Figueroa from the ALA Center for the Future of Libraries. Uh, and Miguel kind of talked about how libraries are continuing to drive innovation in response to the pandemic. Uh, did you see anything, hear anything in his presentation uh, that stood out to you that, uh, that you wanted to share with others? Well, he reminded me that libraries have you know, kind of always reinvented themselves as needed, as as opportunity you know provided that um that need or that ability um i think uh you know what struck me uh, particularly was his uh his insight and i love you know the way he thinks about the future is so um you know compelling and and um i just admire him so much but he, you know his his points about libraries and um you know education you know helping with online education helping online you know job searches and you know the, our, our role in economic development or redevelopment is is going to be even more huge than it i think that it has been in past economic crises it's going to be more difficult but we're absolutely up to the challenge and i uh, which is what he always you know makes me feel too he's so He's so you know confident about libraries' abilities, and I I I, uh, I suggest everybody go and, and take a look at the website, the Center for Future of Libraries. It's just a fantastic resource. Wonderful. Okay, that will do it for us this week. Uh, thanks for joining us, and uh, Deirdre, see you next week. Thanks, Dan. Bye. Bye.